Hi everyone, Kyle Giesbrecht here. Um, last week I posted a, a message in one of the forums where I talked about um, publishing this 300 pano tour in the Street View Editor and I got a lot of questions, a lot of people wanting to know my workflow. So I figured I'd just make a quick video and kind of go from how I stitch my images all the way to publishing them in the Street View app. So this is my workflow. Um, you guys may have figured out easier ways or better ways to do things. I'd love to hear them. We all know the Street View Editor is not going to be here forever. Um, we also know that C Inside is going away. So in my opinion, anyone who's still trying to sell the C Inside, knowing that it's going to go away, is kind of misleading their customers. So hopefully we can encourage um, some of the old timers to switch over to the newer systems. And I'm just going to show you how I do it. I've been playing around with the app a lot um, from the beginning. I, I prefer to, to try out the new tools as soon as I can instead of trying to catch up later. But that's just myself. So here's a quick video to show you how I do that. Okay, so here I am in PT GUI and I have my panos ready to stitch. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my first pano here and drag it in. And we will do line images. If you've used PT GUI before, this is going to be, um, you might want to just fast forward this part. So there we have a preview, stitched image looks pretty good. So I'm going to go into, there's a couple of settings that I'm going to do. There's a couple of settings I'm going to do here. The first is the um, yaw. And I know my first panel is facing north, so I'm going to set that at zero. And then in the project assistant, I'm going to go line images again. And now we have the center of the panorama facing north. So we have that good. Um, then I'm going to go into optimizer um, and just run the optimizer. It tells me it's very good. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into the... I have the exposure and everything the way I wanted it. I did my editing before, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go into project settings. And I usually turn that off and that off. Um, and then I click on do align images and save the modified product project because I'm about to do a batch uh, stitch and I want to make sure that it runs the alignment on everyone. So from there I think it's all pretty good. I got the preview. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I have, I usually set mine at 11,000 by 5,500. I'm in the metadata. I'm actually going to, um, so because I only have seven images, I'm not too worried about geotagging them properly, but I do want geo information on all of the on all of my panos. So here's the location of the business, and I'm just gonna grab the geo parameters there. And I'm gonna put them in here. And hit OK. And everything there is pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to go now into my tools and batch builder. So from instead of new empty project here, I'm going to choose, choose use current project as template. And I'm going to go generate new product projects. And I'm going to find my file. So I know all my panoramas are in this folder. I'm going to select this folder, four images per panorama. Hit OK. It's going to load in all my panos here into the batch builder using this project that I just set up as the template. And I hit generate projects. And yes, so now my computer is going to do the stitching. All right, so now all my images are stitched. So I'm going to go into the folder here and I'm just going to check that they're all stitched. So normally I make a new folder, call it stitched. And I'm gonna select all of the stitched, oh man. And I'm gonna select all of the stitched panos and just move them into that folder. Just so I can um, get a quick look at how everything turned out. They're looking okay, they all seem to be um, facing the right direction. So one thing that's important with this workflow is as much as possible, before you're adding your photos into the Street View app, make sure they're geotagged as close to the location as possible. 
And also, as much as you can, have do your first shot facing north. That's going to make your editing a million times easier. So for example, if you can get the geotag exactly right on every picture and you have it facing north, you're going to have to go in the app. You're just going to have to make connections. You'll be done in like five minutes, if that. So that's why I'm really focusing on starting north and um, geotagging. So yeah, so now I have my pictures here and I'm going to go into my Google Drive and upload them from there. And then I'm going to upload these pictures into there. So the reason that I use Google Drive, there's actually two ways. I'll show you, I'll show you one way that you can, an easy way that you can upload from the desktop, um, but I don't think it's the best way right now. So, so here is Access Insurance Group Lacombe. This is where we did the shoot. The easy way is I could go add a photo and I could upload all of my panoramas here and they will display in the Street View app. The problem with this is when you upload through here, for some reason, Google strips out the geo data. So they're all gonna be on the exact pin spot of there. So you have, and you're gonna have to spread them apart. So that's why I prefer if you, when you, with this workflow, when you're going through Google Drive, it retains all of the geo data. So if, you're at, if you have every panel accurately tagged, it will reflect properly in the Street View app, making it a little bit easier, especially for the larger tours. The little ones like this, it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna uh, wait for it to upload. Those are uploaded to Drive. Um, we're gonna have to add them into the Street View app. So obviously nobody wants to do that on their phone. It's small and annoying. So the best app that I have for that is called Visor. That's V-Y-S-O-R. So you can see it here. And I'm using the Pro account. And what it does is it basically, it, you plug your phone into your computer and it just clones your screen and you can control um, your phone from the app. So I actually have a separate monitor where I, I have it set on its side. So it's like just a big giant phone. And I think that works pretty good. So I'm just gonna get that set up quickly. Okay, so now I have this on like, on my desktop it's like on a giant 21 inch monitor on its side. So it's a giant phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Google Drive. And open the folder that we just created. Okay, so now I have this folder open in um, the Google Drive app. So what I do is I hit select all, and then I go down here to share, and I share to Street View. So then you can see here, if we go into my private tab, it's doing like the scanning and it's gonna start uploading those pictures into my private tab right away. And while it's doing that, I'm just gonna go look at, I'm just gonna show you the settings that I'm using in the app, um, just so you have an idea. So obviously we got available for hire, notify. So one thing I've turned off is auto connect 360 photos. I've found, unless you're doing really close, the audio, auto when you have auto connect on, I can have like a tour, it's looking perfect. And a few days later I go back and it's done its auto connect magic and it's actually moved panos kind of in the wrong space. So I find if I leave auto connect off and just do it manually, it doesn't get messed with. And once it's published, it's published. I also have um, detect faces turned off because if there are faces that don't want to be in the pictures, I usually will blur them beforehand in Photoshop or something like that. That way I don't ever have to worry about Google's blurring going out of whack. Um, so yeah, so those are my settings that I use. So you can see here it's importing the images. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, so now the images are imported. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go add a maps listing. And since they are geotagged, it should come up with the access insurance right near the top and it has. So I just select that. So now all these are associated to the page. 
And I just realized something. Um, normally I'll fill in my uh, nadir, which I forgot to do for this tutorial. So I'm going to publish these and then I'm going to delete them after and probably go correct it. But I'm not going to do that now. So yeah, so we have that there. So we open it up and we hit publish all. So now we just wait for them to publish. So now we have the uh, pictures are published. So I should be able to see them on my profile here. And we'll just wait for that to load. So now I just click into the tour. I go select, select all, and then connect 360 photos. So here, all of my panels are gonna be, unfortunately in one spot because I tagged them all the same. If I had a bigger tour, I would have spent more time to accurately geotag them before I ingested them into here just to get it right. So I'm just gonna kind of split them apart here. And then we're gonna connect them. And four. So this one's just like a quick walkthrough of the office. Um, so I'm going to, before I start, I'm just gonna check the satellite view, make sure I have them in the right spot. And I don't because the road is on this side. So we're gonna reverse it. That one was about there. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So now I'm gonna make, um, just quickly connect all of them. One problem that you'll notice, this, the reason I'm not aligning them first is I'm, I'm making the connections is because sometimes if they're close, um, it's really hard to kind of click between them. Um, but I can actually zoom in a little bit and that should make it better. So I'm going to make my connections. And then I'm going to go back to here and we're going to check them all. So here, I know this one was right in front of the door. Um, so I'm going to be, I'm going to go base it based on the building actually in maps. So then you see there, in front of the door. Now five should be just inside the door. Okay, so yeah, we got everything connected nice, and I just hit this check mark, and I get the nice sign here, connection saved, and that is that. So now when I go back and check the tour, let's see if the connections are there. I know there's still, oftentimes it's taking a long time. So yeah, so check here. So here you can see the arrows that I did are all showing up. And yeah, I have a, having a super slow internet connection now. So I'm just gonna end this video here. And that is, um, that's how I do my tours.